People ask me all the time, can I recommend a PLC backup software? My response always is, PLCs are usually not the thing that dies. Things like VFDs are. Let's talk about how we can back them up with our Compact Logix and Control Logix PLCs. I already have my PowerFlex 525 added to my IO configuration of the Compact Logix PLC in Studio 5000. And I'll put a video at the end of this one that shows you how to do that. And if we open it up, then right above device definition, it says ADC disable. And this is the automatic device configuration. To enable it, click on device definition. And the bottom tab is automatic device configuration. We're going to check that box and click OK. It's going to give us a warning. And it's going to give us a second warning. And right away, you're gonna hear your drive faults and make sure that you have your machine offline when you do this. And then every time I've done this, I get an error saying it's offline right after it, but I hit the retry button and it seems fine. And now it says ADC enable. And to test if it's working, if we go to parameters and we select show non-defaults, Currently, my start source is Ethernet IP and my speed reference is Ethernet IP. And to test it, I'm going to do a factory reset. And just so we get a little more time on this, I'm first going to disconnect the Ethernet cable. That does give us a fault. I'm just going to clear it out. And I'm going to hit the escape button to go into my parameters. I'm going to hit it again to highlight the B and go up to P. And we're going to be looking for 53. And I'm going to set it to 1. And a value of 1 resets most of its, say, operating parameters, which is going to include P46 and P47. So now if I go to P46, it's no longer on Ethernet IP. It's on the keypad. And also P47 is now on the potentiometer here. Now I'm going to plug my Ethernet cable back in. And momentarily, we get a fault F48, and then it's going to reboot. And now I'm going to go back into my P parameters and look at 46 again. And now it's at 5, which is Ethernet IP. And if we go up to P47, it's back at 15, which is Ethernet IP. So with this setup, it'll be very easy to change out a drive. And I've created this playlist right here to show you from start to finish, unboxing your drive, setting its IP address, and getting your machine back running.